What's up, Fitting Room? My name is Kendall. I am so happy that you're here to join me for our kettlebell, dumbbell, just strength. So whether you have a bunch of kettlebells, only one, only one dumbbell, this class is for you. I love just strength. We are gonna work on, of course, getting stronger, but also time under tension. So being under that weight longer, maybe learning new skills or just perfecting your skills, all the good stuff. That being said, let's just jump right into it. I'll give you a little preview of what to expect throughout our warm up. So join me in our warm up. We're gonna start off with some good mornings. Hands behind your head in three, two, one. Let's do it. Slight bend in your knees, push your hips all the way back into that hinge. Stand up tall, squeeze your glutes. You wanna think about lifting up your elbows so we can keep a nice flat back always. We never wanna round our back, especially when you start to add some weight. That's it, exhale as you stand up. Thank you so much for joining me, for making some time in your day, for you to get stronger, to work on yourself physically, and also, of course, mentally. That's it, let's go into some squats in three, two, let's go, knees out, tuck your hips, sit all the way down, exhale as you stand up. So remember, this is just the warm up. If you wanna hold the bottom, you can kind of rock side to side, open up your hips, and then again, stand up nice and tall. As you can see, I am not wearing shoes. This is something that I like to do with just strength. When I'm lifting kettlebells, you really wanna feel rooted through the ground. So if you're at home and you prefer no shoes, definitely recommend it. Or a shoe that's more flat, less cushion is good. There we go. So we're gonna go into some single leg deadlifts. These will come up later. So go ahead and stand on one foot, just like your good morning, but single leg. So slight bend in your knees, same hip hinge, pushing your hips back. Your goal here is to keep your hips straight. So this is one of the times I'll tell you you can put your hands on your hips and try to make sure that you're internally rotating that back leg, okay? Now I'm gonna show you from the side again, other leg, hinge your hips, back is nice and flat. This is gonna really challenge your balance, right? Nice straight leg. There we go, all the way back. You can also reach out in front of you when it's body weight only. Excellent, there we go. Just practicing that hinge, your balance, your stability. Good, let's go ahead into that hip opener. So meet me down on the ground, high plank. Go ahead and bring that right foot outside the right hand. Deep breath in, exhale, open up your chest. That's it, take some big deep breaths. And let's go ahead, switch sides. If you're new to just strength, this is a good day for you. There are no burpees. There's no jumping really, switch sides again. But we are gonna work hard, of course. We're gonna get a bunch of reps in there. We might learn a new skill or two. Go show your friends and family what you learned. <laughs> Other side, that's it. Deep breath in, exhale, open up your chest, opening up that T-spine. And let's go into that plank up to finish up our warm up in three, two, one. Separate your feet down onto your forearms, hips down. Hands right underneath your shoulders, push back up. Good, engaging your core, warming up those shoulders. So when we're done here, in about 15 seconds, we're gonna go into some skill work. Bottoms up press, that single leg deadlift, but with weight. Then from there, we have an EMOM, 12 minutes today, and then we'll finish with our strong fix as always. Good, give me one more. Three, two, and time, excellent job. All right, shake it out, take a deep breath, grab a sip of water if you need. Again, make sure you have a kettlebell or dumbbell handy. I'll show you both ways to do it, whether you have only a kettlebell, dumbbell, or both. That being said, bottoms up press. So I always, always say, bottoms up press is the most humbling movement that we do. A lot of times I'm like, yes, I can strict press all this weight, and then we flip the bell upside down, and again, it's very humbling. So let me show you. You want a light bell, kettlebell or dumbbell. If you only have a heavy bell, you're gonna just change it to a regular strict press, okay? Now watch, I'm gonna grab onto my bell with one hand, using my opposite hand, guide that bell up, so now I'm flipping it upside down. Tight grip on the bell. Once you find stability, let go. Create tension with that opposite hand. Elbows in, I'm gonna press that bell all the way up. I'm keeping my eyes on the bell. Bicep right next to your ear. Elbow comes in and balance as you come down, okay? Now, if you start to press and it flips and hits you in the wrist, that's okay, right? You just do it again, right? No one's perfect. I'm not expecting it to be perfect the whole time, but I do want you to keep trying, okay? So hold it here. 
If that happens over and over and over, another little trick, you can bring your hands back towards the corner or the elbow of the bell, and that will help with that stability as well, okay? Again, if your bell is ultimately just too heavy for that, you can bring it here into that front rack and do regular strict press. This is just to warm up and prime our shoulders. Number two is going to be our single leg deadlift. I'm gonna stick with this bell because it's our skill work. You can go heavier here if you want to and you have the weight. Okay, keep that bell nice and close. If my left leg is down, my bell's in my right hand. Right leg's going back. Keep it nice and close. So remember, pack your shoulders. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Keep the bell close like you're tracing the inside of that standing leg. Right to about mid shin and then stand all the way up, okay? Take your time. It's a 30 second interval. If you get two really beautiful reps, that's awesome, right? So I don't want you to go super fast. I don't care how many reps you get. Let's focus on control and that stability warming up our hinge, cool? 30 seconds of each. You'll have 15 seconds to rest in between and we'll go through this whole thing two times. Let's get into it. Go ahead and grab your bell. Again, if you're holding just a dumbbell, you can do this as well in that strict press, all right? Bells up, bottoms up press. Here we go. In three, two, let's go. Left hand out, rib cage down, press. It helps to look at your bell on the way up. Keep your elbow in. If you have a mirror, you can also look in the mirror at your bell. We're just gonna help with that balance. That's it. Good, try to keep your elbow in. No flaring out the elbows. Nice and slow and controlled. You have about five seconds. Finish that last rep. In three, two, one, rest. Excellent job. All right, shake it out. I know, that one is one of those you're like, I did not know it was gonna feel like that. All right, shake out your grip. Also really good for that grip strength. Here we go, other side. In three, two, let's go. Flip it upside down, feet under your hips. Nice tight grip. Now this is where you start to see any imbalances from one side to the other. This is why we do single arm or single leg work. Really important. Squats are great and all that, but you wanna make sure you're really working unilaterally as well in order to build true strength. A lot of times we th when we think strength, we think, oh, I wanna lift really heavy or I wanna increase my bell and you know, PR or you know, see how heavy I can swing. And that's great, trust me. You wanna build that strong muscle mass, but slow controlled movement, single leg, single arm, you're gonna see a big improvement in your strength as well. Three, two, one, bring that bell down. Excellent job. All right, shake it out. Here we go. We're going back to that, R or into our RDL for the first time with your weight. If you prefer to do this without your weight like we did in the warm up, of course you can do that too, okay? Grab onto your bells, here we go. In three, two, one, shoulders back and down, left leg down, hips are straight, trace the inside of your leg. That's it. Now your body naturally is gonna wanna open up your hips, so I want you to resist that rotation, right? So you're here, if you start to open up, turn that back leg or back foot in, and then stand up from there, okay? Really nice job. Good, really focus, take your time. If you lose your balance, who cares? We're only human, just reset. Last one, three, two, and one. Of course, I jinxed myself. All right, shake it out, deep breaths. Here we go, other side, in less than 10. You ready? Left hand will hold the bell, right foot's gonna be down. In three, two, one, bring that bell up. All right, turn your toes in, slight bend. Remember to keep the bell close to your body. You're tucking your chin. And then exhale as you come back up. So a lot of core work here, a lot of stability. Think about, just like we talked about in the warm up. you're rooted through the ground. Woo, there we go. Good, you're doing amazing, keep it up. Last one, five seconds. Three, two, rest. All right, 15 seconds to rest. We're going right back to the top. Okay, same thing, one more time through. So if you have different bells you wanna use, maybe you didn't use your bell for your RDL the last round, now's a really good time. Flip that bell upside down. Three, two, one, let's go. So don't be afraid to try. 
okay? It's really important. Really with everything that we do in fitness, the only way to know where you're at is to try. So if it feels a little uncomfortable, if you're like, there's no way I'm ready for that, try. Instead of doing tuck-ups all the time, do a V-up. See where you're at, okay? We want to know where we're at. Maybe you'll surprise yourself. A lot of times that's the case. Three, two, rest. All right, 15 seconds. Go into that other side. One more time. Then we're done with bottoms up, I promise. Okay, take that deep breath. Five seconds. Go ahead and bring that bell up. In three, two, one. Let's do it. Remember to create tension with your right arm. You can have it out to the side. Oh my God, I feel such a big difference from the right to the left. What about you? I know I'm not alone there. Good, all the way up. Control that way down. Remember, if it starts to flip over onto your wrist, that's okay. You can also have your hand here if you're more comfortable, but almost like you're squeezing a water bottle. Three, two, and time. Excellent job, bring that bell down. All right, last time, RDL. Okay, right hand, left foot's gonna be on the ground. Let's make sure we're not internally rotating. Keep your back nice and flat. Three, two, let's do it. Slight bend, left arm out. I need to focus. Don't think about anything else except for this one rev. Good, that's it, 15 seconds. Keep the belt nice and tight. There we go, like you're tracing the inside of your leg. So we're not out here. Keep it nice and close so you're packing that shoulder, okay? Last three, two, bells down. All right, this is it, last one. You'll get a little break before we go into our EMA, my favorite. Okay, other side in three, two, one, let's go. Slight bend in that knee, keep the bell nice and close, and come back up. So as beautiful as you are, I don't wanna see your face in this one. I want you to tuck your chin. We want our neck and our spine to be nice and neutral. Good, try to get one or two more reps. Last 10 seconds. That's it, make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. Last one in three, two, time. Awesome, awesome job. All right, let's all grab a sip of water together. Cheers. Okay, moving on. Now we're all primed, we're ready, our shoulders are ready, our hinge, hamstrings, all that good stuff. We're gonna go into our strength EMOM. So while I'm talking, you can stretch, grab a sip of water. I'm gonna show you all the movements we're gonna be working on in this EMOM so we can get right into it. Just a reminder, an EMOM means every minute on the minute. I love these, especially in strength, because there's built-in rest. You have to be able to rest in order to perform well on that next skill. That being said, we're gonna start off number one. We have a rotational press. You'll do six on the right and six on the left. This is why we did the bottoms up press. So bells in between your feet, grab onto it one time. We'll go over this more in depth in a few minutes. Clean it up one time. Make sure our wrist is nice and straight, okay? Reminder, we never hold the bell like this. It looks cute, like you're holding a little purse, but not for kettlebells. I want you to protect your wrist. So punch your knuckles forward inside the shoulder. Now our feet are gonna start underneath your hip. My bell's in my right hand, so my right foot is gonna pivot, and I'll turn all the way to the left wall, okay? So as I press, three, two, one, press, bicep next to my ear, completely facing the left side, only my right foot pivots, my left foot stays straight, and then I come back to reset. Again, three, two, one, press. Make sure the bell's not out here, we're not arching, rib cage is down just like a regular press, and then reset. After six on the right, six on the left. Then you'll rest, top of the next minute, you're gonna go into a pendulum lunge. So again, we're back in that rack position, You'll do six on the right, six on the left. So I'm gonna clean that bell up again. Feet underneath your hips. Pendulum lunge is gonna challenge your balance, just like we did before. So right foot only will step forward. Remember with any lunge, you wanna be on train tracks, not a tightrope. When you're here, you're not stable, okay? So feet are a little bit wider, about shoulder width apart. Right foot's gonna step forward, drop that knee straight down, push off that heel, right into that reverse lunge. If you need to, of course, take a little pit stop and then back, okay? Six reps, forward and back counts as one. We'll put the bell down. We'll do the same thing on the left side. Your next skill, you'll rest, top of the third minute, you're gonna go into your plank pull through. 
So I'm in that high plank. My bell is on the left side of my body, okay? Whether you're holding a dumbbell or kettlebell, so if you're holding a dumbbell, it should be horizontal like this. Because what we're doing is we're dragging the bell across. So I'm gonna be in that high plank, shoulders over the wrist, feet are wide, just like our warm up. Right hand grabs the bell, drag it through. I want you to think three seconds as you're pulling, okay? This is gonna challenge your rotation or your anti-rotation through your core, nice and slow. Notice how my hips aren't rocking, nothing's happening except for my arm moving, okay? Last skill, almost there. Last one, last minute, you'll do eight to 10 Romanian deadlifts, two feet down, just like our good morning, okay? If you have a heavier bell, I suggest using it for this. If not, that's okay too, okay? So I'm gonna start with my bell in between the arch of my feet, toes are straight, hinge your hips, grab onto it, roll your shoulders back. So a reminder with an RDL, it's different than a conventional deadlift. We're hinging our hips, it's more hamstring dominant, and our bell starts at our hips and does not touch the ground. That's the difference between the conventional. So watch, shoulders back, just like we worked on, slight bend in your knees. Bell is gonna trace the inside of my legs right to about mid shin. You'll stand up nice and tall at the top, check in, make sure your shoulders are rolled back. Eight to 10, so if you have a lighter bell, 10 is great. If you're lifting super heavy, I would go on the lighter side for those reps. We're gonna go three times through this whole thing. Plenty of opportunity to switch things around, grab different bells if you need to, okay? Let's get into it, enough talking, let's get to work. All right, so reminder, because it was a long time ago, we're going rotational press to start, okay? All right, do this with me. Hinge, clean it up, check in, inside the shoulder, elbows tight. Rotational press, turning to our left side. We're going in three, two, one, let's do it. Right foot only moves, come back. Make sure your feet aren't too wide, you still want them to be underneath your hips. That's gonna be the trick here. If they're too wide, it might feel a little awkward. That's it, exhale as you press. That's three, four, six reps on the right, five. Are you breathing? Just checking. There's so much going on and so many things to think about with kettlebells that a lot of times we hold our breath. That's actually gonna hurt us in the long run, right? You wanna make sure that you're breathing with every movement. Good, this is my last rep. Bell comes down. All right, we have 15 seconds. So if you're not done with your presses, I would rest now, recover. In about 10 seconds, we're going into that pendulum lunge. Only on the right side, again, six, and then six on the left side. All right, five seconds, here we go. Bells up, three, two, let's go. Feet underneath your hips, right foot forward only. One, good, forward and back counts as one rep. Straight down. This one gets the heart rate up a little bit. It's like cardio strength. Lunges do that for some reason. There we go. Create that tension. Straight down, straight up. After six, switch sides. Straight down. Good, let's make sure, whoa, make sure that we're not leaning forward in order to stand up. And you can always take that pit stop. I like the pit stop. It's like a little reset. Good, nice and strong. This is my last rep. Whether you're done already, whether you're still working, that's great, you do you. Okay, you make sure that you're challenging yourself. Rest when you're done, we got less than 15. Plank pull through coming up. I'm gonna do this with a dumbbell. Just dragging it through. All right, here we go, five, four, three, two. Here we go, dragging that bell through without shifting your hips. I don't even think I told you how many. You're doing 10. Remember, three seconds on that pull, so we're not rushing. Hip straight, no butts in the air. No cheating. Good, excellent job, keep going. All right, that's 10 for me. 30 seconds, plenty of time to rest on this one. One more minute. Then we're going back to the top. Okay, take that deep breath. You're doing amazing. Really good job. So if you only have one dumbbell for this, you can hold it with two hands so you're here. You can also do single arm, and then you can do half and half or the next arm the next round, all right? All right, I'm using my dumbbell or kettlebell, whatever this is. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Roll the shoulders back. Slight bend in your knees. Hips go back. 
Remember, eight to 10 reps. It really depends on the weight that you're using relative to your strength. Good, that's it. I'll tell you when we have 15 seconds left. Keep going. There we go. Now let me show you a few reps from the side. Okay, if you have a mirror again, you can check yourself out. Roll your, check yourself out. Roll your shoulders back, pull your hips back. You should feel a big stretch through your hamstrings. There we go, back is flat, tuck your chin just like before. Good, excellent job. We have 20 seconds. All right, I did 10, what about you? That's it. So there's so many different ways to get strong. You don't have to lift super heavy, you don't have to move super fast. You don't have to go light. It's really dependent on you and what your goals are. I just want your form to look good. That's all I can ask. Here we go. In three, two, bells up, back to the top. Rotational press. Let's do it. There we go. Twist that foot. Turn directly to the side. Six reps on the right, six reps on the left. You got it. Make sure you're exhaling on every press and then switch. Good, I got three more. Come on. Finish the press. No popping the bell up or pressing it out in front of you. Let's make sure we're protecting our shoulders. And if six is too much, if you're like, there's no way, it's getting sloppy, that's your way of knowing to stop. Go down a rep or two, right? Again, there's no harm in that. Don't compare yourself to what I'm doing or what someone else is doing. Let's make sure we're meeting ourselves where we're at. And again, form and all that looks good so that we can progress from there. Let's go. Pendulum lunge. One. Six reps on the right. Six reps on the left. Good. I'm on three. Come on. You got this. I know these are hard. I don't know, I said it before, I don't know what it is with lunges, but they're really tough. You got this. Good. As Soon as you're done with six, switch sides. We got less than 30 seconds. There we go. That's it. Breathe. You always wanna exhale on the exertion. Exhale on the hardest part of every movement. So it's usually on the way up. Good, we have 10 seconds. Everybody rest no matter where you're at. Woo. Breathe, five seconds. Plank pull through. In three, two, one, let's do it. High plank, feet wide, slow. Check in, make sure your wrists are right above your shoulders. 10 reps. Eight, nine, keep going. All right, when you're done, rest. 30 seconds. Hope you're all listening to good music. I don't know how people work out without music. That's like a whole nother level of mental strength. It's like impossible for me. Start to think about like, I have laundry to do later, I have this chore, I have to take my dog out. Music can get lost in it. Here we go, RDLs. Three, two, roll the shoulders back, let's do it. Another way to do this, if you wanna do single arm, kettlebell or dumbbell, you can do that as well. All right, that's another way to challenge yourself. When you use single arm or one side is loaded, which we'll get into a little later, it's gonna challenge your core in a completely different way. It might even feel harder for you. Excellent. All right, I did five on the right. Keep that bell close. If you don't feel a stretch in your hamstrings, you feel this in your lower back, something needs to change. Okay, let's make sure that we're being safe, taking care of our bodies, of course. That's it. All right, this is my last one. Okay, 20 seconds. We're going to our last and final round of our EMOM. Cool? How can we get better this round? What can you do differently that's gonna make you stronger, okay? That goes, when I say stronger, I mean physical and mental strength. Let's go, three, two, come on. Maybe that means you're breathing. 
right, starting to match your breath to your movement. Maybe it means your range of motion, right, getting that bell or your bicep right next to your ear. Rib cage down, working on your form. Maybe you went up and weight this round. So many different ways of getting better. Maybe it's the way you're talking to yourself while you're working out, right? Be confident, you're here. It is the hardest part. I say this all the time. If you take my class, you know. Just showing up, not canceling the class, not making an excuse is the hardest part, right? You're here, you should be proud. I got you for the rest of it. Here we go. After six reps, rest, we have 10 seconds. I'm going dumbbell this whole round. All right, five seconds, here we go. Bells up, pendulum lunge in three, two, one. Right leg steps forward, drop that knee, pit stop, and back. Reminder, space in between your legs. It's gonna help you find that stability, especially in a pendulum lunge that's already challenging that. Good, breathe. That's it. You're looking good. Keep it up. Awesome job. After six, switch sides. Maybe you cut it down to four or five reps on each side. That's great too. Okay, just keep moving. Excellent. If you need to this round, put your weight down. Again, I just want you to keep going, keep moving through this with me, and just don't quit. There we go, 15 seconds, come on. That's it, it's my last one. We got 10, plank pull-throughs on deck. Here we go, set up those bells. In three, two, one, get into that high plank. Slow, three seconds on that pull. Okay, almost like you're moving in slow motion, resist that rotation. Awesome job, come on. I know. No rocking the hips, no swaying side to side, no salsa dancing. Let's save that for our break. My last one, three, two. Well, that's my last one. You keep going if you keep going. All right, we got less than 30 seconds. Breathe. If you're done, just shake it out. Final minute of our imam coming up. Here we go. RDLs in 15 seconds. Little towel off. All right, less than 10. Let's do it, five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, that's it, hinge your hips. Keep that bell close. Now, adding in that breathing if you're not already. Deep breath in, core tight. Hold it. Exhale as you stand. So what that does is it creates almost this brace around your core. It helps protect your lower back. So remember when we talk about core, it's not just the superficial six pack muscles, it's all of it. It's this whole trunk, right? The whole part from really your chest down, that's gonna help with that stability. There we go. I think I did five. I'm not great with numbers, but it's okay. Can't be good at everything. 15 seconds. Good, awesome work, you got this. If you're done, you're just resting, enjoy it. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna go right into our strong fix. In three, two, one, rest. All right, you're crushing it so far. Let's keep it moving, let's just keep going. Okay, let's keep the momentum going. We're gonna go into our strong fix. So a little different than our signature classes. Again, like I said in the beginning, no burpees, no jumping, but we're still gonna work hard, we're still gonna end with a bang. So that being said, we have a four minute AMRAP. That means as many rounds as possible of three movements. We're gonna do single arm work. So we'll do three skills on the right, three skills on the left. You'll keep flip flopping back and forth for four minutes. After the four minutes of work, you're gonna try to move without resting. We already rested before, now we wanna be, think time under tension the whole time, right? So under that bell. We'll rest for a full two minutes. So plenty of time to rest, recover. Then, you ready? This is where we add like the sriracha. Four minute AMRAP on the other end. Your goal is to get the same amount of rounds as the first four minute AMRAP. Looking for that consistency, okay? So let me show you the three movements. 
We're gonna start off with six single arm gorilla rows. Bells behind your toes, towards the right side of your body. Now the key here, it is a gorilla row. You are using your upper back and working those muscles, but you're also using your legs. So really this is full body. So what I mean by that is you're gonna hinge your hips. Hips are below your shoulders. My right hand is on the bell, my left hand is out to the side, right? So I'm gonna show you from the side, here, right? If I row the bell with my hips up, you're really just pulling from your lower back, okay? So holding onto that bell, looking out in front of me, create that tension almost like you're holding a second bell. Shoulders back. Oh, just kidding, I just did a deadlift. I'm just all about the deadlifts today. Let's try that again. We're here, row the bell up to your rib cage, and then bring it right back down, okay? Again, keeping your hips low, row up, and all the way back down. The key also, reset at the ground, okay? We're not pulling from midair. After six, you're gonna go into five single arm cleans. So holding onto that bell, drive through your feet, clean that bell up to the front rack position, okay? Mostly legs. So fast, snappy on the way up, and then pull the elbow back to that front rack that we've been working on. After five, you have four single arm squats. Elbow in, left hand out to the side, all the way down, exhale as you stand. I wanna see full range of motion, no matter how tired you are, full range of motion no matter what. After four, rest for a second, shake it out, and then left side, okay? All right, this is it, eight minutes of work left. Woo, shake it out, get yourself hype, put on your favorite song, let's do it. We're going six, single arm, gorilla rows, hinge your hips, three, two, one, let's go. Six rows. So just because this is the fix does not mean that you need to move fast and speed through it. Maybe you're going a little lighter if you have multiple weights at home, but take your time. I still want quality reps, this is still just strength. Five dead cleans after that. Reset at the ground, coming back to that deadlift stance, hips are down. There we go, that's three for me. That's five. Okay, four squats next. Here we go. Again, you can go on your own. You don't have to go at the same pace as me. Wherever you're at is great. Four squats, that's my third one. And then you're gonna switch sides. Okay, shake it out if you need to. Back to those gorilla rows. If you feel your hips starting to kind of hike up, just stand up for a second. I'd rather you take a second and give your legs a break than get sloppy or do something that's gonna injure you in the long run. Two, three, good, stay low, squeeze your back, elbows tight to your body. And you're breathing, don't forget. Usually when I ask people if they're breathing, they're like, oh damn, I was not. I was holding my breath. Okay, make sure you're breathing. Again, you wanna be able to use your core to help brace and protect your lower back. There we go, five cleans. You got this. After the fifth one, keep it up here, if you can, and go four squats. Knees out, this is not a hinge, right? Knee dominant movement, tuck your hips all the way down. If you weren't already, make sure you're kind of keeping track of how many rounds you got. Two minutes left. All right, I got two rounds so far. Where are you at? Here we go, less than two minutes, let's keep it up. Back to the top. Good, don't rush. That's six. All right, my legs are burning, so I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna shake them out. Don't be afraid to do that, listen to your body. Okay, all right, I'm going back to those cleans, come on. Excellent job, come on. You've got this. There is a huge learning curve with kettlebells. I do not expect perfection. Whether it's your first class ever, first time touching a kettlebell, or you've taken just strength a thousand times. There's always something to learn. This includes myself. Okay, there's always something to learn. There's always a way that you can get better. All right. Less than a minute. We're so close. On the other side of this, 
You have full two minutes to rest. It's important that we earn that rest, okay? It's not given. We need to earn it in order to get strong. Come on. Hips down, let's go. That's it. All right, last 30 seconds. Let's finish the set you're on. Drive through those legs, let's go. Good, loosen that grip so the bell can just roll around your wrist. There we go, 15 seconds. See if I can get these four squats. 10 seconds, let's go. Don't quit before we're done. I have five seconds, I'm gonna keep going. Gotta practice what you preach. Three, two, rest. All right, two minutes, okay? You all hold me accountable, I'll hold you accountable. This is not easy stuff. Maybe you're alone at home, you feel like no one's watching, but I'm here with you, and I want you to know that I care about you getting stronger, okay? Do not quit, don't give up, don't shut the TV off. Keep going, we have four minutes. Maybe you do this body weight, and you just move through it with your body, okay? Start to get that repetition in, because that's how you get stronger, okay? That's how true strength is built. So the next time you come back, whether it's this workout or another just strength, you will feel that transfer over. You'll be like, oh yeah, I remember Kendall told me to breathe. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I didn't do that last time, but I'm gonna do it now. And that's how you get stronger, okay? You got this. All right, let's get our minds right. We got a minute left. Enjoy it while it lasts. All right, towel off a little bit if you need to. If you're sweaty like me. Someone said to me once that, you don't sweat in just strength. That's why they don't want to take it, because it's not hard. You'll have to write a little review and be like, that is not true, ma'am. That is not true. Definitely sweat. You can definitely get a good workout without jumping around and running around, okay? You'll be, you'll be my, uh, what are they called? You'll back me up on that. All right, less than 30 seconds. Get ready. I start to forget what I'm saying when I work really hard. It's a good sign, I think. Okay, 15 seconds, you ready? Last four minutes of work. Let's try to get the same amount of rounds, if not better, okay? We don't compete against other people, we compete against ourselves and where we were yesterday. Three, two, one, let's go. So at this point in the workout, I tend to catch myself, all these negative things start popping up, right? Maybe you can relate. You're like, I don't wanna do this. I'm tired. I've done enough. I'm not strong enough. All of those things, that negative self-talk, we gotta throw that out the window because truthfully, all that's doing is hurting you and holding you back, okay? Your thoughts are so powerful. So right now, when things get tough, and you feel like you wanna go a little lighter, you wanna stop, it's only three minutes, it's not gonna make a big difference, it will, okay? You can start creating that habit of resilience, right? So when things get tough and you're like, I just wanna stop, I wanna, I wanna quit, I'm not good enough, you're like, uh-uh. I have felt this before and I've done harder things. You can do it. Let's go, five dead cleans, four squats, just in case you forgot the numbers, like me. <laughs> Here we go, all the way down, breathe. Exhale as you stand up. That's it. If you want to, it might help to pace yourself with me. Take the breaks when I take the break. That way we're in it together, okay? Time check, less than two and a half minutes. That's nothing, you've come so far, let's go. Good, create tension, check in with your hips. Make sure they're down. Pull from your upper back. Here we go. All right, I'm shaking out my legs. Okay, two minutes. That's it. Think about something that is motivational to you, something that you want to achieve, 
fitness or not, okay, and let's chase after that right now. Let's fight for that. Okay, let's harness that feeling of wanting something so bad that you'll do anything for it, okay? Let's go. All right, back to my right, 90 seconds. Woo! All right, come on, we got it. Good, focus. Good form, good breathing, strong mindset till the end. Okay, brace your core, deep breath in, all the way down, exhale as you stand. Come on, I'm right here with you, let's go. Don't you dare quit, less than a minute, that's it. Then you're done. Then you could look back on this and be like, I crushed that. I didn't half ass it at all. So close, 38 seconds. Come on. Oh, my legs are burning. I don't know about you. That's hard work, baby, come on. I wanna finish this round, I have 20 seconds. Let's go. Fifteen. Let's go. Let's sprint through the finish line together. Come on. Four. Five seconds. Last rep. In three, two, time. Wow. Awesome, awesome job. Take a seat. Let's just sit. Right foot outside. Your, le your body. Bring that left foot in. First, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Fixers, you absolutely crushed that. It's not easy. Bring that right arm across, chest towards me. Nice stretch through your back. If there's anything that you feel is a little bit tighter and you want to do your own stretch, that's totally cool too. Just make sure you're taking care of your bodies. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Right leg in, left leg out. Deep breath and reach. Excellent, just breathe. Slow down that heart rate. Told you just strength is not easy. Good, come back to center. Go ahead and have, have your legs straight out. Got a lot of hamstrings, so I want you to reach up, get nice and tall. Reach forward towards your feet. Good. If you're super flexible, you can flex your feet. Ooh, feel that in your hamstrings right away. And sit back up. Good, all right. Let's come into our high plank. You're gonna swing your right leg forward into a pigeon stretch. Left leg back, sit over that hip. I want you to reach forward. You should feel this in your hips, your glutes. You can also alternatively sit up nice and tall or you're feeling that stretch through your hip flexor on the other side. Good, three, two, one. Bring that right leg back, swing the left leg forward. Again, sit over the hip first and then fold forward. Good, excellent job. That's it, all right. Left leg back, hips up, downward dog. Push your chest through. Pedal out your feet one at a time. We wanna make sure that I talked about consistency, that you're coming back, whether it's this class or another class, and you're consistent with these skills, with this kind of workout, because that's truly how you get stronger and how you get better, is not by doing one workout and checking it off your list, but by showing up and showing up again and again, and I promise you, you will see results that way. Three big shoulder rolls back and down. One, two, three, reach your arms all the way up. Take a big deep breath in. Think of one thing you are grateful for today. Hands on over your heart. Fixers, I am so grateful for you. Thank you for making some time in your day for me and for you, of course. Clap it up for yourselves, and I cannot wait to see you on the next one. Thank you so much.